Now that the storm has passed, it is time to get back on track. Come along with us as we go through our full homeschool reading routine. What's up, guys? This is Ashley from Grizz Rainy Homeschooler. I'm back at you with another video. <laughs> Yo! So today we are going to be doing a day in the life. If you saw my last video, you know that we are just getting back into our homeschool routine. We have the same routine, y'all, but we are going to be, I'm going to be basically showing y'all how we transition back into our makeup days. Um, Pretty much for our makeup days, we're just starting where we ended off at. So the school year is going to be a little bit longer than we intended to reach that 180 day state mandated um, time frame for homeschool. So it's gonna be a little bit longer, but that's okay. Um, we need that time off for the, the storm days, but we're jumping right back into it, hands on. So right now, Mariana and I is still asleep. MZ, he always wakes up with me. So he's up and we're gonna go ahead and get breakfast ready and jump straight into the homeschool day. Hi, how are you doing? If you're new here, my name is Ashley. I am a single homeschool mom of three. I homeschool two fifth graders and then I have my little one here, which is one years old. And he is joining us with this homeschool learning experience also. On this channel, we do single mom vlogs and the life vlogs and homeschool informational vlogs. So if that's the type of content that you like, go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notifications that way you're notified every time we drop a new video. So let's get straight into it, y'all. I'm going to let him get started like on a little wooden puzzle. Oh, where does that go? Good job. Okay, so Amzy got it together. I'm going to put him down at the table here. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and give him his art project to start on. <laughs> So 
this is a closer view of what he's doing. He's doing the letter C. And then he's just painting with the um, paint uh, sponge right here. And with purple paint. So I'm going to let him do that while the girls finish up. This is how Mariana is doing here. She's on her picture. And then Anaya, you on your picture, love? Mm -hmm. Yep, and Anaya's on her picture. Let him finish this up. And then we'll move on. He is completely done with this, y'all. You see he ripped it. It is what it is. But he did pretty good with this. He's starting to learn how to um, paint on the paper and not put so much put it so much in his mouth. Try to put it in his mouth anyway. I think we only had to tell him not to put it in his mouth one time. So that's pretty good. He's learned that the paint goes on the paper and that crayons and stuff. You can write on the paper and paint on the paper with it. I am going to take this up. I tape it to the paper table. So I'm going to take this up and then I'm going to get him a little learning activity. Um, the girls are still working on that. We're about to get into reading in a second. And then I'll get back with y'all when we get that done. I'm going to go ahead and do his sensory bin. So I have this letter C sensory bin here. Um, and I'm going to just let him sit on the floor and play with this because the girls are about halfway done with devotional. So I'm going to let him sit on the floor and play with this. And then we're going to get into reading time. He makes a big mess with this, but um, it keeps him very occupied. So all I have to do is sweep it up. I don't have any carpet or anything, so it's fine. So I'll let him play with this. He's eating a banana right now. I'll let him play with this and then um, we'll move on. I'll show you us moving on with the girls. <laughs> why i always put edible um filling in here because he's one everything's gonna go in the mouth and there's no need of me putting something in there where i'm gonna have to be like stop don't do it don't do it and, and so it's easier to just to put something edible in there just put something edible but not too sweet where it gets all over the house because he's gonna be traveling this everywhere but rice crispy treats i don't have the sweet ones in there so it's fine and we don't have any carpet, so easy cleanup. If you do have car, uh, carpet, you can just put out one of those uh, tablecloths from the Dollar Tree. You can put that out and let them play and just pick it all up, throw it in the trash, or clean it off. Girls, hold up. The girls are done with devotional. Y'all, look at Anaya picture. Good job, baby. Look at Anaya. This is Anaya picture for her drawing. Naya loves to draw. Let me see Mariana's. Mariana's not done yet, but she's still working on hers. You're doing good too. You're doing really good. We are done with breakfast devotional. I'm gonna move it on into reading right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead on reading right now. Amzi is walking around. <laughs> Notice that y'all, I do want to remind y'all, I did go ahead and put locks on all the cabinets. So every cabinet has locks on it. And we did also get a baby gate for the kitchen so he can't get inside the kitchen. Um, I'll do, And then this pretty much stays open because he has a fit if this is not open. So I let, just leave that open for him to open play throughout the day. And he can go in there and play. So he's going to come in there to play right now. <laughs> um, and I'll let him just leave that open for the day for him to play. Um, usually I just let him play in there. He'll get tired in a little bit, y'all. Um, as far as this, he pretty much done with that. So I'm going to put that, take that up and clean that up and just let him do his thing for the day. They, they are doing, we have a makeup that they're doing which is like three things they learned basically it's going over the story that they read they read a story yesterday that i got off for teachers pay teachers for their curriculum it is a chocolate story so it's telling you the history of chocolate so they're gonna go ahead and they did that yesterday the questions did today they're gonna go ahead and do the three two one interesting facts um about chocolate um for the chocolate article so we're gonna go ahead and do that what we're gonna do the first thing about chocolate it, it says bitter, three things you learn while reading it was what's a drink it was a it started off as a bitter drink <laughs> diaper 
change number one for LC. <laughs> well, when he proved, he uh, actually, this is number two because he just got changed not too long ago. I didn't show y'all that. But this is diaper change number two. So I'm going to go ahead and change his diaper. And then I'll be right back with y'all. <laughs> okay, so Anaya is getting logged in to teach your monster to read. <laughs> And <laughs> and my Mariana's wait for her tablet to load. Go ahead and set the timer for twenty minutes. All right, and then I'm just gonna put it up here and press go there. And then they have twenty minutes. <laughs> looks like for this year their fifth grade year but until next time make sure you like comment and subscribe